All right, we got the motor out of Poodle Chain, man, the supercharged small block. Um, putting this motor back together for a second time. The reason you guys didn't see it is because it only lasted about maybe seven days. I drove it back and forth to work a couple days. I got ready to go to a race event, loaded it on the, get ready to load on the trail. I said, well, let me just make a pass. Um, went to make a pass, man, and went half throttle and kaboom. So upon taking the supercharge off, man, you can see we have pieces of looks like maybe pistons. I'm not sure exactly what it is. Hopefully it's not a camshaft or a lift, though. I don't know. But I can tell you, I had coolant inside the boost line, so I'm almost 100% sure um, a piston, a connecting rod broke in half, and as the motor was turning at high RPMs, either the wrist pin or a piece of the connecting rod bust through one cylinder and destroyed the engine. So we're gonna take this thing apart and see what all we tore, see how much damage we've caused on the inside see what's salvageable what can we keep you know, we got to get rid of all of it man so let's dig in See the problem already. Let's get this intake off. It's still leaking. Okay. For one, we got coolant. Oh my goodness. Gotch to be more careful, y'all. Peekaboo. I see you. And that is the cornice. Let me get y'all some light. That is not good. Coolant. So those are probably pieces of the lifter that got sucked up into the intake. This right here, my friend. Is what you call blow though. Oh no, nah, we can see in the neighbor's house. So it's busted number cylinder four, cylinder six, probably cylinder one. Cylinder one, four, and six are busted. Just from looking inside the intake of uh, valley. I haven't removed the head. Hopefully the head is not messed up. Um we have two lifters that are completely destroyed. The link bar is gone. The lifter is damaged. Now I do want to note, man, upon building this motor, man, it is not your typical 0010 block. So the block was a weak foundation to start with. But something I just threw together, I wanted to see how much power I can throw in and see what it can take. And well, as you guys can see, man, 300 and probably 80 horsepower is all this thing could take. With the blower, we were making about 645-ish, and uh, we were spraying knockers on top of that. So all together, we was probably making about maybe 80 some change with the nitrous, but it definitely couldn't hold up, man. So we're gonna finish tearing this thing apart, man. Like I said, see what we can save, if anything. Hopefully the heads, as long as we can save the heads, um, we'll be in good shape. Got both heads off and it's all bad. Almost what I expected, but as you can see, we have a piston laying there. It's all bad. It knocked on the door cylinder number six and busted it, busted through the door cylinder number uh, two. So two, four, and six are damaging. I haven't even taken apart, but as you can see, not sure how this happened. Wrist pin is still there, but as you can see, I don't think nothing here is going to be salvageable. And the second time I put it back together, you guys can see I got the head stirs on there. And that is what the pistons look like on this side. All good. Nice clean burn rate on them. Um, that was a fresh set of pistons from the first set that I had in here. That was a set of DSS forge pistons. And if we come over here, let's take a look at the cylinder head on that cylinder, which was number four. Um, if you look here, it's got some gouging here, nothing serious. So I'm pretty sure all this can be fixed. Um, I can tell this valve here on the exhaust is not fully closed from the way that it's sitting. Give me some light. 
And if you turn the head this way, and if you look closely, you can see all the valves are the same height except for these. See how they're down? So that's how I know it's an issue going on with the valve on both of those on cylinder four. So the heads are fixable. But everything else, it's full of carnage, man. We might hang this mode on the wall, man. This was a bad 385. I tell y'all, um, when I ran this car to track on hard tires, it actually surprised me. The way that it ran, the number it put down, man, would surprise me for what it is. Uh, it was fully forged internals, flat top motor, E85, 177 supercharger, and had a little NX nitrous kit on top of it just for uh, insurance purposes. But it served its purpose. It didn't serve it long enough, but I mean, I did get to see what this combination did with this size, with this size engine. And um, if I had to say would I build it again, I sure would. I just wouldn't do it with a Mexico block. It would be a 0010 block. So y'all stay tuned, man. Let's see what we got in store for Pooty Tang. See what the new combination is. New block gonna be the new size engine, man. SSP.